everybody. This is Heat Wave. It's Kids in Sync of a Podcast. Guess who's here? It's Chris. It's the Hutch Hutcherson. I'm also with Jairus Mitchell, Brittany Saturn, and this is a weird Kids in Sync of a Podcast. Uh, just to explain it a little bit. Uh, it, that's it, good. That's it, good. It's always good <laughs> to good. start with. Hey, uh, this is the first <laughs> episode. It's the first episode, so we got to get a little bit of some rules here. Yeah. Everyone's going to come up with one topic to talk about. We all get 15 minutes to talk about. At the end of 15 minutes, if we feel like talking about it more, if we all agree, there's an extra five minutes on top of that. Okay. Ooh. If we all agree. If we're I thought you were going to say no chewing gum in class. Uh, it's true. I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm never going to agree to the five minutes. I'm just going to be the one, the one judge. Breaking all the rules. <laughs> Except for hers. Except for yours, right? Not even mine, no. Yeah, I, yeah, I, no. What if everyone wants to keep talking about your topic, but... Oh, well. Does it... Well, let's get into Robert's Rules of Order and uh, Parliamentary Procedure. Mm. Um, are we going with a unanimous vote rule mm. where everyone has to agree? I, I, you Who know, has override ability? This is... Uh, this is so... <laughs> I'm so wow. happy with the beginning of this we're podcast. Already, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Rest uh, in peace, Sean Watson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just say fuck it, and let's just move on with our first commercial. We definitely don't have any sponsors for our very first episode ever, so why don't you just, you know, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe. There's a bell or something. I don't know. I don't... Hit the bell. Everyone, the new year is upon us. My question is a simple one. What crime do you want to do next year? Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at Hutch's face. <laughs> There's so many to choose from. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, think. Out, feel free to think out loud, Hutch. Um, so my favorite crime generally is um, petty theft. Yeah, petty theft. <laughs> petty theft. Uh, I'm sure that's going to happen. I'm a big fan of reckless driving myself. Oh, uh, I guess yeah, I'll do that too. <laughs> mm-hmm. A little bit of that. So I want to do graffiti. Oh, okay. Because I've been wanting to learn how to graffiti things anyway. It's a personal goal of mine. So if we can also break the law, that would is be there awesome. is there a learning curve on I, I learning think graffiti? There's. I think so. Yeah. By you, by that you mean you want to be able to do like the graffiti style art? Yeah, like nice graffiti. Mm. So Brittany, you've done this nice. once before. Uh, I want to do it more. She's though. just <laughs> mainly written like fuck on stop signs. With yeah. Jordan. Okay. Okay. Um. So you're saying you want to step up your graffiti game? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So before I, I've done it before, uh, but I made like a stencil. Yeah. And we had like a brick, like a cinder block wall in our yard at one of the places we lived in. It was like holding back dirt, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people had already spray painted on it, and I was like, I'm gonna add to mine, and it was like essentially in my backyard, so. I feel like it, it was wasn't... very local, very yeah. hyper focused. We yeah. were so graffiti. fucking intense, though. Like we were just like, <laughs> I'm trying to do it real fast. Well, we, there was a lot. Did you of... wear a mask when you graffitied your no, own wall? No, we didn't wear a mask, but we did do it in the middle of the night, and just we did to get do the, it really fast. The full experience. Well, we have neighbors, and I didn't want them to like tell our landlord, I guess. So, mm. but I did like a Sailor Moon silhouette, <laughs> and no one it, would ever guess it was you. It pink, yeah. <laughs> so. It was a sparkly pink too. Yeah, it was really, it was really fun. But I want to do more like freehand stuff versus like I guess stencil because stencils are messy. There's um a documentary that you should watch. Uh, I cannot remember what it it's called. I'm gonna look it up later and get Brian to add it right here. Um, (laughs) uh, work for you about uh, graffiti artists in New York. Okay. Um, and like the subway hopping, and I think it's also about like the crackdown on graffiti. Um, and like how extensive it was and how fucking expensive. Yeah. But I need to find that and send that to you. Yeah, definitely. That That sounds awesome. Check it out. I just want to steal a sandwich. I want to steal a sandwich from someone's plate while they're eating it. (laughs) Like at a restaurant? Yeah. Like like they've taken a bite out of it? Yes. And you're like... Mm. I'm just going to walk by, pick up the sandwich, put it in my mouth and keep walking. What (laughs) restaurant... (laughs) What restaurant do you think you're the most likely to get away with that at? Like maybe a Denny's? I don't know. No, not Denny's. Uh, I would say... Some place high class like a Subway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say Jimmy John's. I'm, Jimmy, I'm gonna, John's? Jimmy John's. Do I think people I could... eat Jimmy John's sandwiches inside the Jimmy John's? Yeah, I think it happens. Or, or... I've done it once. Mm. I've done it once too, actually. Did we I... do it together? I think so. Wow. Wait. Mm. 
Yeah, that was a Jimmy John's. One time I went to a bachelorette party and it was like 3 a.m. and we were fucking wasted. Like the the bride to be could not walk. We dragged her into the Jimmy John's. She crawled into the men's bathroom and was like vomiting everywhere. This other girl pulled out these two coronas that she had in her purse <laughs> for whatever reason and put them on the table. And the Jimmy John's employees were like, I guess there's nothing we can do because we were just a bunch of like, it was like 10 drunk women <laughs> just like, give me sandwich. <laughs> and drunk white women are yeah. like a. Yeah, you can't stop them. Yeah. No. Um,. One, I'm surprised that a Jimmy John's is open until 3 in the morning. They're usually open until 3 a.m. Really? Thought. Yeah, like all the Jimmy John's I've seen have been open super fucking late. Huh. This was downtown Winston-Salem, too. Yeah. yeah. Good old WS. Well, they do have the college down there, yeah. right? So yeah. There was something they, else there, going There's on. The, the incentive for going the extra hours. Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of a large window of opportunity to steal the sandwich. <laughs> will, will you count it <laughs> if you steal it from Brittany? No, that I, okay. we have, we shared the same bank account. I technically yeah. pay for it. Yeah. So would you count it if you stole it from Hutch or I? I mean, it would be stealing from you guys. I I would say no because I could get away with it. Though. Yeah. If the answer was yes, we would understand. I want it to be someone I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Because I, next I was going to ask you if it was going to be like the work no. coworkers or no, something no. like that. I don't think it really counts if they if someone knows you and they can be like, oh well. That's Brian. That's Brian. Still <laughs> <the> sandwiches. <laughs> just what he, he does. Has to be a stranger who's just utterly confused. You know, it'd be it's like, like that, did that guy. Okay, here's maybe the question he's homeless. Too. It, <laughs> if you walk by someone's car mm. and they have like leftovers, like oh, a leftover oh, sandwich yeah. in the car, like on the seat, Can and just... you try the door and it's open, <laughs> would that count? Yes. If you just, because that would be really I don't know, because they're not actively eating the sandwich. That's and true. And he said he wanted to. to I did want to do it in front of them. But yeah. imagine you like. You can, you can check breaking and entering off of your uh, checklist as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Imagine coming out oh, of a nice. store or something and, and found that someone broke into your car, but the only thing they stole was like your leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just feel sad. Yeah. Like, well, hopefully that person. Got what they needed. <laughs> this kind of remind. Remember that Christmas day when I got really drunk for my birthday party, and I just started talking to this other couple that was at the restaurant. Yes, in it'd my be like that. That's been most of your Christmas day. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I think you were there. You went to Maybe. the bathroom by yourself, and then on your way back, you stopped to talk to everyone, and we had to find you and usher Hi, you. Hi, Brian back. Belcher. It's my birthday today. <laughs> we had to usher you back to. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. With a birthday boy I, I sash. Weird combinations of feelings about Christmas. Yep. All right, well. I want to be a public nuisance. I am. Oh, I, I have. That's a good one. I've, I've been inspired by my recent playthrough of uh, Untitled Goose Game. And mm. it's just so damn fun. Just like Get some fucking up everyone's day. Like just oh. untying people's shoes, retying yeah. them, stealing their glasses, just making them fall over. Just go around with a trombone. Just I only wear a trombone. We need to I don't do have this, one. We need to do this together <laughs> because I think me stealing someone's sandwiches while they're eating it would go in tandem. With I will yours. be the distraction. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that's that's perfect because my crime was going to be vigilantism. Oh shit! Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Did they get like a cape and stuff, or no, no, no. Uh, maybe just like a cardboard grocery bag like that one of the paper ones yeah, Ooh, there you go like the boombastic bag man you could draw like a frowny face on top of it yeah. and look extra menacing yeah i like it well i suppose too is it premeditated vigilantism or like uh just happenstance i mean is it all i, mean, I guess vigilantism isn't like a thing that you trip in and fall into yeah, yeah yeah it's not i mean i Maybe one day you just help an old lady with her purse, and you're like, "Oh, I like this. This is my yeah. thing now." Yeah, I don't. Purses killed my parents. So exactly. Purse <laughs> exactly. <right. laughs> yeah. Just turn into Casey Jones. I don't know. That that sounds like a lot of work. I'm gonna change mine to. That sounds like a lot of running. Like. <clears throat> Having sex that isn't missionary, <laughs> or something. Which actually in well, North Carolina, <laughs> it's illegal for the woman to be on top. Yeah, and it's also illegal for uh, oral sex as well in yeah. North Carolina. So wow, sucks to be you, sex police, because we're oh, all damn. breaking the law. So that, that's that's <laughs> weirdly related to um, a thing that I looked up when I was in Japan. Yeah. Um. So like, there are a lot of prostitutes in Japan. 
Um, and I was like, Japan's a super conservative country in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like, why? How does this fly? How is this not cracked down on the way that littering is? <laughs> and I found out it's like, that it's related to how Jap how Japan classifies sex. Mm-hmm. So it's just like prostitution is just paying for vaginal intercourse. Okay. It's so like candy jays, blue jabbers, butt <laughs> stuff. All that's all that's free game in in Japan. Okay. No, wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, so technically prostitution is still illegal, but it's long, illegal. Yeah. Yeah. But as long as it's just vaginal intercourse, or like that's that's what prostitution is. No, oh, that yeah yeah. That's the the very narrow. Sp- uh, thing also, you're saying as long as they do everything else, they can do fine. anything else for money, but, but just not if the, the JJ is interacted like, with. Okay. The okay. Vajingo. Yeah. The Vajingo. <laughs> Vajingo Unchained. <laughs> Unchained. It's my favorite. Would you like to play some Lucky Hit? <clears throat> oh, man. There's my shimmy drop for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we keep the podcast video game related. <laughs> Did you set a timer? Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh. We still have six minutes and 36 seconds. So what other crime would you do? Mm. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't want to put out a podcast saying that I'm going to do a fraud or a murder or anything like that. Right. I also feel like this might, our first episode might be evidence in a future legal case. (laughs) Not only only is it the first episode, but it's the first segment. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Well. If we commit any crimes, this is perfect evidence for it. So. We'll just blur our faces through okay, this whole so, first segment. Like, you so can't confirm it was for, us. For the beginning, for the ending of this segment, explain why you're not going to actually do anything. <laughs> <laughs> explain why we're not going to do it? Yeah, that this is just yeah. for entertainment. Yeah. Because jail, duh. Yeah, we're not criminals. Like... Every everything here presented here is uh, for comedic purposes and conversational inta- entertainment purposes, uh, and does not uh, reflect the views of the speakers or as anything other than a novel comic situation. There you go. You tied a good bow on that. I like this rush disclaimer that we have just <laughs> yeah. in the middle. Like. We'll transcribe it, put it down at the bottom. It's like a scrolling thing with us in mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be good. 2019 uh... is ending pretty good, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I saw you put this into our like list of topics to talk about yes- yeah. yesterday. I was just like, and I saw it was first, too. And I was like, yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> The first thing I thought when I saw it was, nice try, FBI. <laughs> I'm not getting me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, as a conversation, it's it's part of the longest con I've ever read in my, run in my life. Mm. I'm actually a cop, and you're all oh. under arrest. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. For, for future crimes. For conspiracy to commit sandwich theft. This is about to be 2020, so. Yeah. Who knows what the future is going to be like? Probably terrible. So Probably. here's, here's look, actually look like my it. problem with my crime, though, is I'm a very picky eater. Mm. And so you you're gonna have to spot tell me the about that. Sandwich. I mean, I don't like condiments. <laughs> right. Everyone puts condiments it just changes on their the sandwich. feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't like a soggy sandwich. Mm. So uh, I thought you were a mustard fan. I'm um, no. Whoa. No, he hates mustard. No. He loves oh shit. Ketchup. I, on occasion. Yeah, but like I, I'm trying to be in the mood for ketchup. He puts ketchup on all his ham sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, no. <laughs> sounds disgusting. I use it with fries, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's a nightmare. I'll use just condiments a, as ingredients. White bread, <laughs> sure. ham, and a big squirt of ketchup. Oh, that does. But the bread's really thin, so it looks kind of pinkish when you like squish it down. That could also be your crime for. That sounds like a terrible. <laughs> that does year. sound like a sandwich crime. Yeah, that, that sounds that's like a, a terrible crime. meatloaf. It's almost like a like. Like a deli meatloaf. meatloaf? Basics? Yeah, it's like a deli know. meatloaf almost. I don't know if I'd classify that as a meatloaf. <laughs> it's bread. It's breaded meat. Somebody with ketchup. L- no, that's no. Someone look up the definition breaded of breaded meat. Oh, is this the next? Loaf, is it a sandwich? <laughs> is it a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> is a ham sandwich meatloaf? Is that your fucking? <laughs> if it's got ketchup on it, I'm oh, going to classify man. it as meatloaf. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I'm in hell. I already hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Canceling this. Yeah. Right. Pod- podcast is undead or web experience. That's what I guess. So, well, well here, here, here's our, the thing we can talk about then for the last couple minutes. How are we going to close these segments? How are we going to decide when it's done? Yeah, I was thinking we'd have 
like so my my original thought was that we were gonna have like a shitty white egg timer. Yeah, we just like, do that. Do it. We just didn't this time. And you could you position just it. can edit it in later, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Sure. Well, but I was thinking like, so one, we could see how long the segment's running and mm-hmm. two, we could um, like just have a right visible it... representation of when that happens. Um, but I don't, I don't fucking know. Okay. Well, we can move on. It's like we're. Yeah. Well, let's do that. Then. <clears throat> All right, guys, we'll be right back with the next segment. Do 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 do. Bop. You got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey, welcome back. I'm Brittany, and I'll be your guide to the countdown of the new year. Oh, yeah. You guys Mm. ready? 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5. Four. Four. I'm really excited not, to watch you do this. Gonna, you got to untie that. Two. Two, 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 two and a half. Two and a half. Two and two and quarters. Quarter. Two, two and, and one eighth. Uh, yeah, one one, 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 one 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 and a half. And one and a half. One and a half. And a quarter, quarter. now. And then and then so like, and then, and then one eighth. There. Happy New Year. Getting something about saying. getting high. Wow. Whoa. I don't think that's how New Year's song goes. There's the word high is in that song. <laughs> you want a little more? You sure, seem a little sure. less full over there. Do you want me to hold yours so that you can pour it? Yes, please. Hmm. Oh, man. So that my, is refreshing. My topic is I want to talk about something very generic. What's your New Year's resolution? Oh yeah. 2020 is the future. <clears throat> oh. Mm. Oh well, yeah. Hold on. We didn't. We didn't oh, clang oh, our we plastic. Didn't, we didn't think about how far apart we all are. I think use my wingspan to connect. It. Thank you. Air air clank. There you go. Air clank. I'm gonna spill it on my leg, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this mm-hmm. off. Obviously, we just started a podcast. So there you go for a New Year's <laughs> resolution. I don't. I think like a New Year's resolution would be actually do the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Maintain velocity of podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> keep, keep podcasts going. We're doing all right. We're already on our second segment of our first episode. Yeah, we're yeah. doing good. Look at us go. Look there at we us. Go. We're people. Um, I spilled a what is essentially like a wet <laughs> dick shape. It looks like you pissed your pants, but just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I tried to put it Perfect. away a little too quick and a little. Well, yeah, no, like you just more than a little. Shook more than twice. <laughs> <laughs> While you were still <laughs> Oh, that's good. I'm doing great today. Um, my New Year's resolution is to not spill. <laughs> Time for a new one. Well, <laughs> Time for, yeah. It's okay. You, it's okay to have it's a my, resolution and make mistakes. It's still 2019. And then keep going. Yeah. Like, it's okay to, like, yeah. make mistakes. It doesn't mean you have to, like, just, just, keep, just gotta keep going is, with your this life. This is my fucking fault because you were like, <laughs> I, I looked at it and I got huge ogre mitts <laughs> and I was like, that's probably a good amount of uh, champagne. I'm not going to spill that. And then you were like, Bleh, right up <laughs> to the top, more. you stupid fuck. Now you have to lean back and <laughs> try and not spill it all over your legs. So it looks like you sort of pissed your pants a little bit. <laughs> um, my New Year's resolution is to look like I slightly pissed my pants less. <laughs> well, you are doing great. You nailed buddy. it. <laughs> Um, I have a couple of New Year's resolutions. Um, like, first of all, I want to play more video games. Yeah. Like, I want to relax more because I feel like I've been, like, going, going, going. And I have not played any new games. Yeah. And I have a huge backlog. Like, I work for a video game company. And at lunch, people are like, what games are you playing? And I'm like, I'm not. And I feel, like, super stupid. <laughs> have you played Google Sheets? <laughs> it's pretty Sheets. great. Is my favorite it's, game. <laughs> it's got kind of like a steep learning curve, but once you get all the all the oh. different mechanics down. You no, know, my favorite part of the game is when what? you do the alternating colors, <laughs> and then you. Oh, it's so it nice. Makes, <laughs> it makes Minesweeper look like a bitch. My yeah. favorite thing is when you do a pivot table, but you didn't lay out your data right, and it all just breaks, and it, and it looks fucks up, like yeah. fucking nonsense. I love it. Yeah, I can't oh, wait yeah. for all the office nerds to enjoy your guys' conversation <laughs> over there. <laughs> 
But yeah, I just want to like relax more. I think my my goal in 2019 was to work really hard and like push my Etsy shop. Yeah. Um, but now I'm like, it's time to take a break. It's time mm-hmm. to find like a happy medium for that. Um, and then the other thing, uh, I slowly want to start taking better care of myself too. Yeah. Like I have a, a good job now. <clears throat> I want to start going to the doctor <laughs> and like going on my doctor's appointments. Yeah. Um, and just like eating better and like just moving more and just doing better. I think that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to do something slow. I don't want to like, I mean, we all want to get shredded, but you know, I'm just going to be like, let's just take it easy, you know, and like take it slow. So you could get your cheap Mexican steroids or you could make reasonable life changes. Yeah. I mean, I could always start doing heroin too. Uh, I mean, that's that's an option. Taking better (laughs) care of yourself though. Are you sure? What if I shoot it up between the toes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the veins don't collapse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> that sounds good. That's an option. Um, no, I, I support that. Like, I've... In 2019, I was doing a lot of stuff to try and take better care of myself <clears throat> um, physically. Um, and in 2020, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on my mental health yeah. on top of that. Yeah. Um, it's like you you start taking meds and you start like parsing out your own mental health stuff and you're like fuck I didn't realize I was that anxious yeah mm. and Holy it's, crap. it's just something that you've lived with for so long too yeah. and you're just like <clears throat> this is just what I had to do to get through it yeah so. and I imagine there are some people who get disheartened when they have like a moment like that of, oh yeah for sure it's like the oh, shit I, I gained that much weight or mm-hmm. like whatever but yeah I mean it's like continuously moving towards progress is a reasonable thing Definitely. even if it doesn't feel the most satisfying mm-hmm. like we all wish we could wake up in the morning and just like have your purse. press press the swole button mm-hmm. or like uh do or do just a... like press the have your shit together button <laughs> and like you actually do get up on time and like do all the things yeah. that you meant to do in the morning instead of hitting snooze like three times and being like Whoa. why do i feel <laughs> like shit <laughs> um yeah I mean, it's not Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You can't just go to the God, gym. God, I wish it was. That would take <laughs> for 30 so minutes. Easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, let me just go ride this bicycle around town. I'll be fine. I mean, that is kind of Was that one of the, one yeah, of the but... things in that game? You could just ride a bicycle? Yeah, and you'd yeah. get more in shape. Or you could eat a lot and you'd get fatter. Wow. Yeah. You'd like San Andreas, I think. Yeah, I've never played it before. Yeah. I think the new Red Dead does that stuff, too, though. Does it? I think so. Yeah, but you can only get so fat. Oh. Uh, well, like... <laughs> You, yeah, like San Andreas <laughs> didn't have that upper limit. No, you can get you could super still run fat. at the oh. exact same speed. Hey, man. Oh. You, to, oh. If you're supporting all that weight, you got a lot of muscle. To That's true. Fat. Does anyone need a refill? Um, uh, I, I, you just told me that I need to keep drinking, so yes, here I go. Would go. you like more on your pants, sir? I can just pour it yeah, directly just, on this. Just, <laughs> <laughs> so for my New Year's resolution, uh, I'm going to get a little sappy. Uh, I'm going to try and show more empathy. Hmm. Um, I, okay, I'm yeah. really bad about, I've been so <clears throat> much like for the last couple of years, I've been just trying to get myself together yeah. and whatnot that I just like, someone will talk to me about their problems. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just like, I, I have my own issues. Well, I'm sorry. Like, and, and there have been times where we've had those conversations mm. where I'm like, I'm frustrated with this work thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're like, uh huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you were just like, God, I wish I had a work thing. Fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I, I've always gave a shit about like a few people, but I mean, just like in general. You meant like to people you don't know as well. Yeah. yeah like, I feel like it's easy to I have empathy out. for your friends, but when it's like a coworker or like a stranger, you're just mm-hmm. kind of like glazed over. Like, I want to oh, be empathetic uh-huh. to people I don't like. Yeah, that's the hard one. I got you. Mm-hmm. Like the people like, I just, uh, some, there's some people like maybe there's like, you know, People that you have to work with, and I don't mean just coworkers, but like projects and whatnot. Yeah. But sometimes you just glaze over and you didn't even listen to I was them. Just sitting right there. Oh <laughs> no, no, he's good. Shot to the heart. Um, but no, I mean just like. <laughs> oh. Love that. oh man, I love bubbly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think that's a like a noble goal. And that's, noble, not I don't know about if it'll work. I'm trying. Yeah, well, I mean, like, <laughs> that's the shit with any self improvement is yeah. it's it's gradual. Like yeah. you and and being aware of it and actively thinking about it is a a huge step in the right direction. Yeah, like some of that. Like if if you're talking about the weird ass emotional baggage that we all have yeah. or, or the years of like learned behaviors that have gotten us to a certain point. Mm-hmm. 
that's really hard to unpack. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not like there's no just um cool, I'm just gonna tweak this one setting in my brain and and now uh, there's going to be no clipping and I'm going to get higher FPS. Um, are we talking, we're just going to lower the resolution so we're better at empathy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, shit, I wonder if there's something there. Maybe. Well, like, well I, I, no, seriously. Uh, that might be true. I've been, uh, let's, let's put it in computer terms. I'm kind of defragging all of this new experience that yeah. I now have and all these new operations that I have to do and I'm allocating room for this new thing that I want to uh, yeah. learn or relearn. Yeah. So in a way, yes. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to quit Spotify to run the game. Yes. <laughs> mm, true that. <laughs> so I guess for me, I um, it's it's kind of piggybacking a bit off of uh, you know yours guys is uh, continuing the uh, uh, weight loss because um, mm. that's been the thing I've been doing this year. Um, uh, the focus on, uh, mental health and, you know, making sure that my mind's right. That's also a thing that's kind of, you know, it's kind of like 2000, 2019 is when you tackled a lot of that this yeah, year. Yeah. I got kind of slam dunked by just a whole bunch of shit this year. Um, but, uh, it made me a lot more aware of, you know, mental health and, you know, being able to accept that it's okay to, you know, speak to people and, um, yeah. get medication that can help you with certain things. Yeah. Um, and before I'd been kind of diluted by the, um, the social stigma that it can cause. So yeah. I think that yeah, e everyone's doing a lot <clears throat> like in, you know, everyone that I see are being very positive about mental health. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm faltering on the word, yeah. but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we're all... Nobody is not fucked up in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Everyone has something. Everyone has a weird baggage or a, a thing that they think about or something that triggers them, pisses them off, makes them upset. Um, and I think, like, legitimately, I think as dumb meat sacks, our job, part of our job is to improve ourselves mm -hmm. in some way shape or form and i've now i say that i've been really bad at it but i don't think i don't think anyone should be shitty and for the most part like sometimes people are shitty about it like i imagine it's more there if you like quit drinking or something mm -hmm. of like, <laughs> oh you're too good to fall down the stairs with us um <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining that situation. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I imagine there's more negative pressure there. Mm. But I don't I don't think anyone should fucking be a dick bat over someone saying, like, I'm going to try and not be sad all the time. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to try and deal with my dad issues or what have you. I think, like, most of the, the dickish stuff comes from, like, how you're dealing with it. Yeah. You know, because, like, you can say, like, I don't want to be sad anymore. I'm going to do something about it. And there'll always be people who are like, well, um, it's more if than you sad. take medication, you yeah. are, like, weak or whatever. You should just go for a walk or something like yeah. that. Well, you we've know? been dealing with so, that lately ourselves. Yeah. Uh, so that makes sense. For sure. Mm -hmm. Has somebody told you to go take walks? Well, I mean, that's just kind of like a general thing. Like people say, like yeah. if you're like going to therapy or going, or if you're trying to get on medication, yeah. sometimes people will say, "Oh, you don't need to be on like pills and stuff. You need to like go for a walk or do yoga or listen to music or mm -hmm. you know just something." It's like you can do those things too, but don't down this person because they're also trying to take medication. Yeah. Like whatever they're trying to do to like get relief, that's you know. Yeah, I think one of the, one of the biggest everybody. one of the biggest um, mistakes someone can make is like when someone's like freaking out about a thing or in a bad spot is to tell them to calm down. Oh yeah, it's oh, like yeah. well, no well, shit. Like yeah, like the phrase <laughs> "calm down" has never in the history of language made someone calm down. Yeah, <laughs> no, it hasn't. Um, it's me like, and my mom used to get fights over that. We would tell each other to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally almost got to fight my brother. Like he's telling me to calm down when I was mad about something. I was like, motherfucker, it's it, only gonna make me more mad. You tell me to calm down. The opposite effect yeah. too. It's like you cannot even be that uh, that upset about it, and someone tells you to calm down, and then it escalates yeah. because you're like, all of a sudden, this is a thirty-five. Calm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm perfectly calm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um. I'll, I'll add one more resolution. Uh, I want to travel more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 
got a good bit of it this year because I, I went we went to Erie mm -hmm. for Zeldathon. That was awesome. That was really cool, yeah. Um, and I went to Denver uh, to see uh, Dead Mouse at Red Rocks Ooh. Amphitheater, and that place is awesome, by the way. If anyone's been curious, definitely go check this it out. This part of the conversation brought to you by Red Rocks Amphitheater. <laughs> Red Rocks, you owe us money. <laughs> give me, give me. Should we just send them a bill? This is yeah, for, yes. for $5. Yeah. yeah. Weirdly, this is like the second time I've talked about Red Rocks in the last like two days. Oh, really? Is it that cool? Because it it's, seems like it's really cool. Oh, it's really good. Yes. I mean, you're, 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 for one, so there's not a bad, you know, place in, you know, in the house because it's a huge like amphitheater style. Mm -hmm. Um, so you've always got a good view. You can see Denver in the background, and the lights are just shimmering. It's gorgeous at night. That's cool. Uh, and then you've got both rocks flanking you, so it's just the reverb. You know, it's like you're just surrounded by sound. It's just an awesome experience. Getting right. all the yeah. angles of the That's wall. Really cool. Yeah, and the uh, the only thing that was a bummer is you have to. So the parking lot is below it so you have to hike basically up a mountain to get there so by the time you're <laughs> up there slightly back down oh oh back down is the best part yeah but you so you get to the amphitheater and then you have to go up and it's it's just you know get your hiking boots that's all i'm saying so i had a co-worker who was actually there with you what yeah he was at the exact same like concert you were at wow awesome so I, he was i was like I told him, I was like, I've got a friend there. You should hit him up. And then I was like, I just deleted it. I was like, I'm not going to fucking do that. Why yeah. I, like, hey, I know you're having fun. Add things to your plane. Yeah. He was like, hey, meet this stranger you don't know anything about. So, so Hutch, where do you want to go? Like, what's, what's, what's your uh, fuck it list for next year? Man, I, I wanted to go to Tokyo. Um, yeah. But man, it's also Olympics year, and yeah. I would probably go later after that's done, or maybe before. Like you, you so you went for springtime this yeah. year, right? So yeah. would you recommend it during that time of year? Yeah. So uh, Steph, myself, and a bunch of our friends went. Sorry, my lady friend, a bunch of our friends uh, went to Japan in early April, um, and it was really great. Um, it was spring-ish um so we were there we got to see like the tail end of cherry blossom nice thing um which was absolutely beautiful um we went to a couple of of w outside walking around areas mm -hmm. but i think next time i go i'd like to do more of that we we mainly stayed in in cities um yeah so we didn't do like the temple thing uh -huh. that's that's a thing that I'd like to do the next time you go. Did you did you go see a robot? Oh. We hit 15 minutes. Aww. Would you guys like to continue this conversation for five more minutes? I just want to know, did you go see a robot bar? No, we were going to, but we uh, didn't. Darn. Okay. Maybe next time. Well, good. I think that was a pretty good segment then. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm Hutch, and uh, now, Happy New Year. Woo! Oh, yeah. It's Yay! 2020. We made it. 2020. We did naked the thing. baby. I never understood that. What? The naked baby. Are you talking about the naked baby from, like, Alice, uh, well, Ellie, Ellie McVeal? No, I'm talking about the New Year's baby. It, it has a sash. It's not naked. Wait a minute. It's what? The New Year. <laughs> it so it's sash. just born. You've never seen the New Year's baby? I have no idea what you were talking about. Yeah, it's like the New Year's mascot. You know, like Christmas gets Santa Claus and Easter gets the Easter bunny. No, and... there were, I, Dick Van Dyke is the only like there's New a, Year's there's like a little mascot baby. I can think it's, of. It's a baby. He's wearing and a ball. Like oh, you mean Dick Clark? And it's oh, hot. yeah. Dick, Dick Van Dyke <laughs> is <laughs> Mary Poppins. That's, that's right. Yeah, no, he's the New Year's baby. Some Dick person. <laughs> like the the start of the year, the, because yeah, the year it's is fresh. only it's fresh one day new. old. This is well, terrible. Okay. Well, well while we're talking about holidays, what's your favorite holiday? That's Ooh. what I want to know. I, I would like to start. Okay. My favorite holiday is Christmas <laughs> because we get together and celebrate the birth of uh, you know one individual, Brian. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we typically eat a lot of sushi. A lot of sushi. Yeah. So if you uh, are new to the channel, my birthday is Christmas Day. And uh, I make it about me. And <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing with Christmas birthday people. Yeah, man. I'm also an only child that did not oh, help. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so my mom's birthday is on the 20th. And mm. I knew, like, before I even met Brian, how important it was 
if your birthday is around Christmas, yeah. your birthday present has to be in birthday paper. Yes. Cannot yeah. put it in Christmas paper. That's fucking rude. Oh. My mother if is. You yeah. have huh. people who are born around Christmas fucking wrap their presents in birthday paper. Yeah. Do not get them one present for both. Yeah. Get them two presents. Even if it's two small things, make sure it's two presents. My my mother's birthday is December twenty eighth. Okay. Oh damn. Um yeah. so yeah, you always have to get two different presents and you have to give the better one on their birthday. Yes. Um, yes. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually the rules. That's the rule. That's the Christmas birthday. Now that was rules. true and uh that's that was true when I got into my like mid teens. Yeah. Before then, Christmas was the better present. Mm. When I when I got up in the morning, you started getting sullen. <laughs> yeah, but then <laughs> as I got older, my my parents made my birthday present the better present. Mm. So gotcha. that's nice. why you are the way you are. I, probably I, there's a lot of reasons, <laughs> but I <laughs> know Christmas is a really good one. That's the big one, you know. I mean, we always uh, we always have a lot of fun celebrating. We do, for the last few years. We actually don't live with you now, but we've been set, uh, putting up a Christmas tree and whatnot. At your house, yeah, and I've I've missed the uh, the RC Cola train. Yeah, well, don't worry, to... it's still around. We can I, I can bring it back over if you want. I, I don't have space for that right now. <laughs> we don't have right. space for it. I, I need a tree first, but uh... <laughs> yeah. So, Brian, is yours Christmas? I would say probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably, I do. Li- no, if like, you want to repeat, that's fine. I honestly do love Christmas the most, and not just because of my birthday and whatnot. I do. Love the atmosphere. I like how a lot of people are mostly mostly happy, with the exception of like you know, there's always that like holiday depression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for, otherwise, most people are pretty like happy about stuff. People are happy to have days off. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And I just enjoy being around that. I atmosphere. love it when it snows around Christmas too, though. It used to snow mm-hmm. every year because I lived in the mountains, but then I moved all down here, and it's like we'll snow, but it's going to be in February, and it's only one time. So man, I've only ever had one white Christmas. Really? Yeah. And it was when I lived in uh, Pilot Mountain mm-hmm. in the foothills. Yeah, so. of course. <laughs> and I, I'm never going to get it here. I'm just accepted. It only snows here in, like, yeah. freaking February. Yeah, it's like That's February, when winter starts like for Raleigh. I've, I've only had one, two white Christmases. One, the one I was born on, so I don't remember that one. <laughs> and uh, the first year me and Brittany got together, uh, we uh, my my Christmas... That's went, how you know. My vagina be. brought the snow. <laughs> <laughs> You need to have yeah. sex more often. <laughs> so Damn. it was probably, it was probably my most memorable Christmas because a, it was a white Christmas. It was our first Christmas together. Yeah. She made me like a seven layer Kahlua coffee cake. Yeah. Yeah. Which was awesome. Maybe you made that for us. I'm sorry. Maybe like put in your order. Maybe it'll be a segment <laughs> on this show. And then on top of that, though, Brittany was working at a local newspaper. Mm-hmm. And she had she was working that day, yeah. and her job was a spot reporter. So we had to listen to like the police radio, mm-hmm. and so that, you got to feel like you were on a stakeout yeah. with a cute girl. And, yeah, <laughs> and on my birthday, we had to leave and go take pictures of like people. It with was car a car accidents. accident, but we really couldn't get out because of the snow. So we drove a little bit, and then we were like, "Okay, it's not worth it. Let's go back home." My Aww. my no, boss we, will just understand. We did went to one that was that little river. Remember? Yeah, but I think we got there too late, though. Yeah, we did. Because even though the accident happened right next to where I lived, we couldn't get there fast enough to take pictures of it. So, yeah. but it wasn't that big of a deal. It was like so my my for my job, I had to take pictures if it was a car accident where someone got hurt. <laughs> if it if they said came over the radio and said it's a ten fifty, uh, which is a car accident, ten fifty pi. That means personal injury. If it was PD, which is property damage, I did not go. They did not care about property damage. They only wanted personal injuries. But if the weekend was really slow, which it often was in the county because it's a very small county, we had like, I think it's like 10,000 people total for the entire county. Okay. It's 900 people in the town, like limits. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's zero. only three stoplights in that whole Yeah, there's county. only three stoplights. So, um, it's it was, hard to get into a car If it was there. an extremely <laughs> slow weekend, sometimes I would take pictures of like a, a PD just to send it in and they might use it. Maybe not. It just depends. Yeah. Um, so I, I, we went out there and they had already like cleaned it up. So we didn't really have anything to take pictures of. Yeah, but we slid around on the ice and it was a lot of fun. (laughs) Right next to a river. (laughs) But yeah, that was a fun Christmas. I like hung up a happy birthday banner and everything. Yeah, your family was like, Because I was like, we have to make it. Like it was the first, like we had been together for almost a year though. Mm -hmm. Because we started in April. Yeah. And I was like, we have to make like a birthday thing for Brian. So. Yeah. That was nice. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try to be, I try to be good. 
and we never had a white Christmas since. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas well. is not my answer. Okay, great. Um, so I, unlike the rest of you, I'm, well, you're from a broken home in one degree or another. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. <laughs> so, like, I, I typically, because my parents divorced when I was, like, eight, I when I think of Christmas, I think of driving back and forth mm. between the various different houses that we had to hit. Gotcha. Um, so to me, that's still just kind of exhausting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Thanksgiving is probably one of my favorites. Oh yeah, that's a good um, one. Hell yeah. So uh, my father's side of the family does Thanksgiving in Charlotte. <clears throat> um, and I used to alternate back and forth between going to Charlotte for Thanksgiving or staying uh, with my mother's family. Yeah. Uh, so it was a very binary, like there is no way that you can get back between these. Mm -hmm. um, so as an adult, I use that to absolve myself of any guilt of like, well, I'm going here. I see them less often. Yeah. Um, but Thanksgiving at my aunt's house is just a lot of wine <clears throat> and a lot of um, Charlotte, North Carolina art lesbians. Charlotte, oh, yeah. North Carolina, um, art lesbians. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect everything. Yeah, it was, it's, <laughs> it's fucking rad. It just like, there, was, there was a period of time where we were always watching bad movies. Mm -hmm. And one year we watched all of Trapped in the Closet. Uh, oh, God. I, I've which, never heard of that. Yeah. Uh, the R. Kelly. Uh, oh, God. Rap you men or uh, uh, rap. You, opera? Yeah, no. this is like oh, right. The only thing R. Kelly I've ever Lord. seen is surviving R. Kelly. <laughs> The documentary about all okay. the fucking children that he was yeah. like, hey, disadvantaged Actually, child. Actually, thematically, you... uh, Trapped yeah. in the Closet pairs really well with really? that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's... Yeah, I've only seen that in parts. Yeah. Well, when you sit down and watch it, you can figure out exactly where he realized what he was doing. Mm. Or like he, his production staff became like became self-aware and they're like, okay, this is the thing. We can lean into it. But like the first 15 episodes uh -huh. are like really good there's like this weird dragon ball z escalation of, yeah. of like <laughs> tension but it's poorly executed so it doesn't make any sense and so it's so it's dbz style yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, so i watched all of those um when i was doing an all-nighter uh to do, do a class assignment i was like of course i'm going to youtube to procrastinate <laughs> and then like i'm also like delirious because it's like three in the morning and i'm watching all of these freaking yeah. videos i'm just like what, what am I even watching? I, I've lost track of the plot. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Did I have it's, a stroke while I was watching this? It might have this had. is not reality. Yeah. You know, if I, as I get older, I ask that question more and more. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> One of those days, you might. I might. We'll yeah. see if you smell burning toast Burnt or, toast. Uh, like, searing flesh. I heard some people say, like, flesh. Like, burning flesh is another thing, too. Mm. Oh. Interesting. So. That's part of the bread or whatever. Yeah, something like that. So uh, I'm going to um, jump rails here for a little bit. If I was going to pick a second holiday, though, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite holidays that we all do. Um, You don't get to pick a holiday before I get to pick my Have holiday. Have you not done one yet? No. no. Well, then do one. Jeez. Was... We're talking about R. <laughs> Kelly's closet over here. All right. Here. Well, my favorite <laughs> holiday is Halloween. Mm. Okay. And Spooks I, it, it's I'm not like one of those people either that I'm like... Halloween is like my life, you know, um, but I, I just love Halloween because it's the introduction to the holiday season, you know, because I mm -hmm. love Thanksgiving and Christmas and also a little biased because my birthday is November 2nd. So I always associated Halloween with my mm. birthday and the, my one of my very favorite birthdays when I was a kid uh, was when I turned eight and we celebrated my birthday on Halloween and my cousins came over and. And um, my uncle's girlfriend at the time made, like, this giant cat pinata. And it was the first time I had ever, uh, like, hit a pinata before. So we all went outside, hit this pinata, got all this candy. We had dinner. My mom made, like, homemade lasagna. And I had a birthday cake. And then we went trick-or-treating. So it was just, like, a giant sugar rush that entire day. <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome. And it was really awesome. And yeah. lasagna? Like, yeah. that's my problem with, like, like, with... 
Halloween is half the time like I don't actually eat dinner that night. Yeah, no. When we, I was a kid, we had yeah. like a hearty lasagna. So that sounds awesome. Uh, Put some was, meat on your bones. And it was back, <laughs> and so it was back in like the late nineties. So we still went trick or treating at night because like mm. I think now <clears throat> it's very common for kids to go trick or treating early in the afternoon when it's still light outside. Yeah. But when I was a kid, we like went not to be that person, but when I was a kid, we went we went trick or treating at night, and you would like like fall, God intended, and you would fall into like people's ditches and yeah. stuff because they had leaves like. <laughs> raked into yeah. him and you'd get out of the car and just like fall into a ditch but um because we had so many people that year we all rode in the back of like a pickup truck nice. around this like little cul-de-sac so we where i grew up was like a rural farm area but there was this one place in town called allegheny manor which was like where all the rich people lived yeah and we would like go around that cul-de-sac and get like all the candy and it was just Were they giving out the full-size candy bars no, you know, I've never actually been to a place that gave out full-size candy bars. I think it's an urban legend. <laughs> it probably is. So let us know. Did you I actually get have gotten to- full-size candy bars. And if I went by the country clubs, there was a couple people that were giving out, like, unopened like prepackaged, like, you hoos and shit. So like you'd actually get that's like the difference between Sparta and Mount Airy. Yeah, it is. It's like it a forty-five is. minute it's the difference. Fucking cultural I would, divide. I would, I would go in between the two country clubs because they had the best shit. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we only had one country club, and it was way, way out yeah. of the way. Yeah. It was so, like you know you've been right yeah, by my house. I've, I just had to walk there. So yeah. there but, were a lot of olds in the neighborhood that I used to trick or treat in. Mm-hmm. So it was always just like either individual Reese's cups. And Mr. Good Bars, or just like Werther's. <laughs> Werther's this really is all great so far. <laughs> For me, it's those like those terrible fucking uh, peanut butter gum, like taffy things. I uh, love those though. They I come hate in like those. the black or yep, or yeah. orange yeah. wrapping. I don't know what they're I don't called. even know where you. Buy I don't those. know. That's where you butterscotch, buy them. isn't it? It's not butterscotch. It's like a it's like a taffy, but in the center is like peanut butter. I never opened it, it because like I was too scared. To try. <laughs> <laughs> was, this I'm, is where they hit the razor blade. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking right. of which, did you guys ever find anything questionable in your candy as kids? No. No, me that neither. That never, ever happened. That never happened. No, no, no. I was in mine. find one that was open already, and my mom would be like, no, and that was the Mac. That I was, remember this one time we moved, uh, and we were living near this, like, uh, Moravian community, and mm. I went trick-or-treating in that area, and someone was giving out, like... Well, they went and bought, like, a big bag of candy corn and put the candy corn in into individual, like, little Ziploc baggies. And um, my grandma was being really weird about it and was like, oh, this is not prepackaged. I don't know if you can eat this. Yeah. And my mom was like, shut the fuck up. Like, it's <laughs> perfectly fine. Like, it's just candy corn. Well, it's like this so. year in North Carolina, there was something that was like, police sees 200 pounds worth of THC nerd ropes that's yeah. right or something <laughs> and he's going to give those away yeah i saw that like someone commented and was like no one's fucking giving their edible can- edibles away to fuck a bunch of fucking kids like yeah. Do you know how expensive that is <laughs> yeah like no it's not happening so but yeah i just love halloween um mm. it's like the start of the season i always decorate really early like this year i think i put our decorations up like in september yeah uh and i just took them down like a little while ago. <laughs> like yeah. yesterday. Like yeah. the police showed up and they were like, ma'am. Ma'am, you have to take down these Halloween decorations. <laughs> we're concerned that there might be witchcraft. We, we, we took them down and then put up the Christmas put lights Put up Christmas immediately. Because, like, yeah. So, but yeah, I love, I love Halloween. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, it's cool one. stuff. Mm-hmm. Wow, we timed that perfectly. Perfect. All right, well. Sports. Sport. What? What? <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> Hey there, we hope you're enjoying this first episode of Heat Wave. If you'd like to support us, you can do so at patreon.com slash half empty tank And there you'll actually get access to our episodes before anyone else. Hey, and welcome back. I'm Brian Belcher. And for our last segment, we're going to talk about what our favorite game for 2019 was. Um, just to go ahead and give us a jumping off point. I actually, I'm, I, I'm, I'm having trouble deciding between two different games here. So we can put it up to discussion a bit. Uh, it's between uh, the Outer Worlds and the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening for me, but I kind of feel like Link's Awakening doesn't count because it's also a 22 year old game. No, you can't do that because I'm going to be doing a similar thing. Here. Oh shit! So. Oh, oh. <laughs> so let's. Oh, I know what you're picking. Determine some ground rules. Okay. Is it a game 
that was released in 2019? Yes. Yeah. Or a game that you played in 2019? Uh, released in 2019. It's a game okay. from 2019. Uh, the Outer Worlds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that like... Well, here's another question. How many games ha- from 2019 have you played? I, it's not many for me. I've only played one game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we know what you're and doing. And that was kind of like the reasoning why I came up with a resolution to play more video games because I looked at the entire <laughs> list of all of the games released in 2019 and I had not played any of them except for one game. Yeah. And I was like, well, I guess that's the game I'm picking. I think I've probably only played two or three games that were released in 2019 yeah. for a concerted amount of time and one of them was Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, technically, it was released this year on Switch, so. So, my game, I'll just go ahead and go because it's the only answer I have, is Untitled Goose Game. Yeah. That's the only Mm. game I played this year. It's the only game I, like, really cared about this year. (laughs) (laughs) I just wanted to, like, be a goose and fuck people's shit up. That's a good one. That's exactly what you could do. And flap so, and honk. Yeah, that's that was my pick for this year. That was one of my favorite games that came out this year, mm-hmm. uh, with the exception of the fact that I did. Uh, I spent seven and a half fucking hours getting every <laughs> single item in that game into one spot, <laughs> and I had four items left, and it crashed. And it did not save. Either. It did it not just, save, like, so it's all gone. Well, to be fair, like people told you that they it did. was going to do yeah, that too. Yeah. So. I tried it though. You, I was kept, like, you were oh. like, let mm, me get it. I don't care. Oh, well, my favorite part, it was like uh, around the end, it was just going at like six frames per second too. Yeah, it was like, oh, God. <laughs> like, like really there gross. were too many objects rendered or in something. one yeah, place. In yeah. one place. Yeah, they were not where they're supposed to be. I took every movable object I could in the game. You just stressed the game spot. out too much. I yeah. feel like bro, the, they probably would have done that in QA. Well, it works on the PC version. I th- oh, the problem okay. is the Switch is uh, limited on gotcha. what it can do. Yeah. Sometimes. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I want to give a, a special shout out to Shin Move for actually releasing. Yeah. Um, I thought you were about to say for actually shipping. And I was about to come over there and punch you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare. Um, no, Shinmu was on the Dreamcast. That doesn't count. It that's true. This year. Shinmu 3. Shinmu 3, oh. 3 for those who want a clarification. Uh, and shout out for that for being a game from 2002. Or what, when, when, when did it come out? Was it 2001. 2001? Ah, yep. close. Mm. Uh, my actual pick, though, is Resident Evil 2. Uh, that game, uh, it... It feels familiar and different all at the same time. I didn't realize they re-released. They did a they yeah. did a huge remaster of Resident yeah. Evil Two. That's awesome. oh no, it, it is a remake. Yeah, proper yeah. remake. Oh, okay. Um, but like for example, um, uh, so one of the things uh that in, in the check it, that out in I, the yeah, yeah so in the original there are two routes the A and B route that you can do in the A route you fight against um <laughs> William Birkin, um and in the second route. Uh, you were getting chased by Mr. X, which mm. is basically Nemesis, like an a nemesis or whatever. Um, and uh, in this game, uh, you start out, you know, your first playthrough is a route, and then you get to the hallway, and then all of a sudden, boom, Mr. X is just right there. Mm-hmm. And you're just, just like, well, he's not supposed to be here. What's going on? Uh, so it threw some, some wrenches into the gears. So That it, seems it was, like an interesting way to do a remake um, and present like the same original content, but then um, provide enough for people who've played it a hundred thousand times, like I imagine there are, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. to to still get something out of it. Yeah, I mean it's it was one of the most successful games of the year, and on top of that, like to the point that I get it's quasi announced that uh, Resident Evil Three is also getting a remake now. Yeah, which I'm excited about because that's my favorite Resident mm-hmm. Evil. Mm. So I'm going to I'm uh, I'm probably going to get that one. That one's oddly enough. I only ever played it once. I beat it and yeah, then I yeah. didn't pick it up again. Yeah. But it was I remember it being a good game. Uh, so. I played it. It was the only one. I, it was my first Resident Evil. So really, yeah. Oh shit, cool. I played it with a friend and we just passed the controller and I was bad at it. So he held on to it more often. Mm. But uh, it was really it was like one of those like oh we're gonna play this for three days straight kind of game. Yeah, I haven't honestly played a lot of Resident Evil. It's my uh, you know I I appreciate <clears throat> the franchise, but scary games or even like even like horror themed games right. aren't my thing normally. Yeah, but that one that one's just campy as hell. 
uh, oddly enough, like horror movies are not my thing. Yeah, especially gory horror movies. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. But I'm totally I'm fine with it in games, un- unless it's like super like insane. So, I tried to play a Resident Evil game. Which one did I try to play? You've tried to play the first remake on GameCube, and I cannot get the controls. Like, yeah, I tank, make tank the was you and Juggle Boy like, would have a fun conversation about how much like, tank controls suck. The person would like, and the camera angles are weird because you'd move into a different room, and then the camera would like change suddenly, and yeah. like I was just like in the corner, like walking, like couldn't get out of it. Mm-hmm. It was, I don't know where I it am. It was or, terrible. Yeah. Like, like I just couldn't play it. So, so the remaster gives you an option to move anywhere. It takes away the tank controls, okay. and it's it's serviceable except but for I would one scene. Be um, able to play that then. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, this just goes back to I just need to play more games. So, like, hey, if there's a game that you guys think that I should play from 2019, let me know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think me and you are on the same boat. Uh, Outer Worlds was definitely one yeah. of the. Uh, it's for me. It was a surprise hit. For a, um, I didn't know it was coming. I thought yeah. it when everyone was talking about it. I saw that there was a game called The Outer Wilds, and I was confusing it. Yeah. And then on top of that, I was like, "Oh, it's Obsidian. Oh, it's a Fallout game." Yeah. Oh, I'm playing it now. Yeah. And then I, I was lucky enough. I have the Xbox Game Pass, so yeah. it's free for me. Yeah. Um, and it sucked me in. Uh, I mm-hmm. I put about twenty hours into that within about. Four yeah, days. you were playing yeah. it. Like, every day you'd come home from work and you would just play it. Like, yeah, for I had, so I would, I, I'm going to say that's probably my game of the year. Zelda was also that, but I didn't beat Zelda. I got very close. I'm on the last dungeon. Okay. But yeah. Outer World sucked me in. Um, a friend of ours recommended it to me because mm. I was like trying to figure out. I was trying to find something <clears throat> interesting to play, and um, I was thinking about getting Red Dead Two and. Uh, decided not to instead went with Outer Worlds. Yeah. Um, and the writing's just phenomenal. Oh, man. Uh, I forgot what her name is, but the first, like, companion character that you get. Yeah. She's amazing. Parvali. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, my God. The she, internet uh, loves her now. Well, I didn't realize any of that. And um, when I played, I was streaming it the first time. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to be as evil as I can. So I just killed everyone else in that whole town. Yeah. And then she still was following me around. It was all like happy-go-lucky. And it was the most like opposite yeah. kind of thing. But, oh, man, that game. What was really great about her, though, was that there was so much more representation with her. Yeah. And I've only been able to find one male companion so far. Is there another one? I've got two. Okay, so I'm missing one companion, then. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, like... Uh, if you haven't played or heard of Outer Worlds, it's a Fallout game, but if the apocalyptic event was corporations rather than <laughs> nuclear weapons. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of... I kind of love that, though. Yeah, it's it's really interesting, and it's yeah. really cool, and I think it's timely for a lot of the stuff that yeah. we're thinking about. I feel like we're thinking about. approaching that, maybe. Yeah. With some it's, companies, they're a little scary the way they are buying up everything, and we're like, wow, they're going to own don't the talk about entire world. Amazon, Apple, <laughs> Alphabet. Well, I wasn't going to list everybody. <laughs> uh, well, it was pro- it's proto-cyberpunk. Yeah. Hello. It oh, is. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new, new podcast mate. Hello, Beans. What was your favorite game of 2019? He's gone. Nothing to say. <laughs> Just, uh, there's so many to choose from. Lint, I get it. Lint on the ground. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Death Stranding? Wow. <laughs> that, that is a sleeper choice. I do like a hot dose of Kojima bullshit. So I've yet to play that game. Yeah. I cannot wait to play that game. That, so I have been playing it, but I'm not very far in it. But okay. it's it's weird. I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> um, it, it's basically just t- picking up things and taking it from point A to point B yeah, and hope yeah. you don't get fucked up. By but it's but it's like there there are layers of uh, inventory management optimization to it that mm-hmm. some of our more pedantic Ooh. friends would really enjoy. Um, yeah, it's oh, and they, there is an option to just like auto like arrange everything, and it, it just makes things flow better. I'm thankful it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear that because I <laughs> don't like the core mechanic behind this. Give me a control option that takes it away. <laughs> I didn't realize though you can actually like put things on like his arms and his legs, so he just looks like a trash robot. Uh, basically, yeah. Um, I kind of want to play this now. You so, get to collect things, you say? Oh yeah. And uh, so my one of my favorite things is like if you overload him with like stuff that he can barely lift up. Like he has a little cutscene where he you leave his terminal and he's he's just oh oh 
oh, and he almost falls back and like, stuff. So he's just like hating life, and it's oh, it's so wait. great just to watch him. Oh, wow, that's Norman Reedus just gruff. That's actually one of the things I'm gonna get now that it's the new year. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to get that. It's game. got a lot of. You want to play a game it. called Porter Bridges? Who is a porter who works for a company called Bridges, <laughs> building bridges and you, carrying things? Yes, I do. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> I mean, Kojima's always been one of my favorites, but yeah. my, my main concern with that game was that the gameplay wasn't going to be up to par that I'm used to with like yeah. the Metal Gear series. Metal Gear 5, for example, I, I've always loved Kojima, but that game was... I could play that game forever, even if it wasn't very weird. Mm-hmm. I loved what Even it if it wasn't very weird, <laughs> there's a certain weird quotient that I expect from you, Hideo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this uh, isn't weird enough. Get out of here, Snatchers. I've actually started playing that recently for the first time. <gasps> it's really fucking good. Oh. Um, I wanted to play that. I yeah, like we should. Uh, I've got it. Uh, I got a. I got a version of it. So, mm. hell yeah. The only Snatchers I know is we have the soundtrack in a long box at work. <laughs> yep. Mm. And I constantly have to get those because it's part of the PAX bundle at LimitedRunGames.com. <laughs> wow, they don't sponsor us, Brittany, even though they pay they, me. They do sponsor us. Technically, yeah. I got, I got the sponsorship. Oh yeah. I- Awesome. Right, cool. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, that was, I think that was the first Kojima was Snatchers. Is it? No, well, Metal was it Gear Place 1 Nots? and 2 were his first games. No, I thought Snatchers came out before that. Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 are what you're thinking of. Metal Gear 1 and 2 on the NES and MGS oh, okay. were before yeah. Snatchers. M- MSX? MSX. You're yeah. right. I thought Snatchers was on like the fucking Commodore or something. So... Um, I think it was a DOS game originally. It was a DOS game originally. And then uh, he got, because of how successful Metal Gear 1 and 2 were, that they gave him full reign to oh, be able to make... Oh, Snatchers was the first time that happened for yeah. him. Uh-huh. And he was like, weird. Yeah. And they're like, all right, this still works. It, it, it <laughs> bombed, so he went back to Metal Gear and then... Womp. Then he just was yeah. like, I'm still going to be weird here. I don't give a shit. A friend of mine who is a game developer um, described Death Stranding to me as... I mean, it's Hideo Kojima. You know what you're getting. But it's Hideo Kojima where he doesn't have a boss to tell him that things aren't, like, things don't make sense. Mm-hmm. And also, he is the boss saying that things don't make sense. Okay. So, can I mention a quote that Juggle Boy told me? One of his friends mentioned who's beaten the game. He said that uh, you, I can thoroughly say that David Cage is a better writer than Hideo Kojima. And okay. I was like, Ooh. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so, apparently, it goes places. Yeah, All right. of course it does. But it, probably in the last twenty minutes, but, um, or what you think is the last twenty minutes, it kicks off like a three-hour cutscene, and mm-hmm. so it was all info from, dense. From what I've heard, it doesn't beat his record for Metal Gear Solid Four, which is the longest cutscene in any game. What? How long is it? Uh, I believe it was uh, forty-eight minutes. Is how long the cutscene is. But here's Mm. the thing. In Metal Gear Solid 4, when that happens, there's like four minutes of gameplay and then another half hour cutscene right after that. Right after it? Right after that. That's crazy. Gotta have your checkpoint in there. Gotta have your checkpoint. For the bathroom break. I mean, I imagine like if you knew about it ahead of time, you could like tuck in and be like, okay, this is here. Buckle up. But when you're playing a game like that, you don't generally know what's going to yeah. happen. So it's just like, wow. Oh, that happened to me with Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, Same. Go yeah. Same. somewhere. I thought I was about to beat the game, and I was. Yeah. But it was like 2 a.m., and I had to go to school the next yep. day. And I just was like, not going to school. Me and, me and, <laughs> me and a buddy of mine uh, rented it okay. from Player's Choice Ooh. and stayed up for Ooh. 24 hours playing it and like trading off. Yeah. So when we got to the, the final cutscene situation, we were groggy as hell. Yeah. Yeah. A little loopy. And it was like, okay. Oh, it's still gone, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's watch this mini movie. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of weird iconography. Okay. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that we've talked about the best game of the year. We all had best games of the year. None of them were Death Stranding, but half of this entire segment was about Kojima. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we just got to stop. I mean, that's just the way the conversation Yeah, no, no, I'm not mad. But with that, we are actually at the end of this segment. There it is. Oh, there you go. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for... Wow, uh, that was our first episode. I know. Tuning in for our very first episode. We'll be back next week with even more episodes of heat wave uh who knows what might happen 
Uh, more t topics. Uh, there might be a video game one, and we'll see you guys then. Bye. See Bye, ya. everybody. Oh, hey, like, subscribe, comment, all that. Smash like button. <laughs> um, do we now want to record a thing where you explain the format and how things will go up as like a teaser thing? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Channel trailer. All right, channel trailer. Ugh. Hey, welcome everybody. We're going to explain what the hell Heat Wave is. Uh, just so everyone knows, if you would like to join us uh, and get the Heat Wave as early as possible, the best way to do that is to become a patron of us on uh, patreon.com slash half empty e tank. You'll be able to get the entire episode on Sunday before, an e before, anybody else. before anyone else. Let's try that again. Let's uh -huh. say, like, what Heatwave is, <laughs> okay. how we're releasing it, okay. and then end with the Patreon. Okay. Because it means nothing at the front of it. Okay, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Welcome to this weird discussion we're about to have about the logistics of heat wave. <laughs> hey kids, you like logistics? You like the logistics? I love uh, charts, especially when they flow. <laughs> if you want to know what's about to happen here, we're going to have a segment release every week, uh, an episode release every week, and then we're going to split them up in segments so that you're going to get Jairus's uh, episode released every week, right? Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I went back, but we can... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have an episode released <laughs> at the end of every week that's right uh, but throughout the week we're going to be releasing the component parts of it as segments on youtube that's right um so you can watch them independently if you care more about one thing or wait until they're all live mm -hmm. and watch it all in one sitting. Mm -hmm. um also you can download it as a podcast if you would prefer that uh, rather than having a YouTube tab open. Um, and if you want to support us, uh, we have Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank. Okay. Um, and our Patreon subscribers will get access earlier mm -hmm. it'll to be the final thing that's right so on sunday if you're a patreon supporter you get the entire episode uh access to the entire video episode or the audio podcast that day Ooh. heat that's wave it's a good deal it's an experiment with monetization using timed release that's right uh on <laughs> no one's done it before every single monday we'll be releasing jaris's segment uh, uh, every single time, uh, every single Monday after every Tuesday, Brittany's, I get Tuesdays. You get Tuesdays, Yay. and then on Wednesdays, Hutch's segment goes out. Wednesday's my day, and on That's Thursday, true. my segment will go out. And on Friday, it the entire podcast is available uh, for everyone, everywhere, always, always. always. for free. If you want to give us monies, though, you know that would be really cool. That's neat. We like yeah. money. We yeah. like money. We like money. <laughs> I mean, please give us money. Yeah. <laughs> Hutch, now you have to start every episode with It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> yes! I'm totally doing that. <laughs> but it's only Wednesday on this segment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. If you have any uh, questions or whatnot, please leave something in the comments. And, you know, there's a like button and subscribe button or wherever the hell this podcast is available. You know, RSS feed. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. And we'll be, we'll come back with you with more information later after we figure it out. Yeah, because we're recording before <laughs> the internet we do it. is weird and confusing. It yep. really is. Just like World us. Wide Web. Yeah. <laughs> information Highway. <laughs> Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure colon backslash backslash www.youtube.com slash half empty e -tank. You've it's got actually mail. a half-empty energy tank. They wouldn't let me change that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.